So let's get into uh, your attitude on the uh, Rodney signing, uh, two-year contract with the Angels. How do you see this all working out? Uh, we we really like the signing. We think that uh, it really gives our bullpen some depth, uh, depth, and and gives us an opportunity to uh, be very deep at the end of ball game. So we uh, we're excited about it. We think Fernando is going to do a tremendous job. We had a chance to sit down, and talk to him a little bit, and um, he's excited about the opportunity, and is really willing really to pitch uh, in whatever situation we ask for. Uh, Tony, to make it clear though, I, the plan is for Fuentes to continue as closer, and Rodney setting him up. Is that clear? Yeah, that's clear, and that's been uh, communicated to Fernando. He had no problems with uh, with the the route that we project him uh, going. So, uh, yeah, there's 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 not going to be any question there. We're talking to Tony Regans, the uh, the general manager of the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. We haven't spoken to you since the Matsui signing. Uh, let's just uh, dissect that for a second. Where does Matsui slot in your lineup, and how do you see that all coming about? Uh, we're excited about uh, that acquisition as well. We think that uh, Matsui will be, you know, penciled in in the middle of our lineup. Uh, whether it's uh, three, four, or five, uh, he'll be somewhere in the middle. Obviously, that's not my my call to make. That's Mike's social's call to make as far as where he, he pencils him in in the lineup each day. But uh, we anticipate him being in the middle of a lineup. Uh, he hits uh, right-handers and left-handers equally as well and uh, we think he'll 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 deepen our lineup a little bit and and make us better so uh, we move forward obviously tony a year ago you signed uh, bobby abreu i thought it was one of the best free agent signings for the for the dollars certainly it looks like hideki matsui uh you follow that up a year later because for six and a half million dollars to get a 28 homer 90 rbi bat is pretty special i want to shift gears real quick tony uh obviously when the free agent season started your hope was that John Lackey, Sean Figgins could possibly return to the Angels. It didn't work out. Were you guys very disappointed you didn't get it, or did it just become that the dollars were beyond what made sense to the Angels? Uh, we we thought both players were attractive options. We we embarked on on this off season, you know, trying to bring those two players back. Uh, they have been tremendous players for us. And as an organization, they, uh, they've they done a lot for us, uh, both on and off the field. Uh, but, you know, we have to get to a point where, you know, we assess the value of the player. And when the demands exceed that value, you have to make a call. And, and we decided to go a different route. 